Okay, we're set up on the exhaust valve, and I'm now going to turn the engine forwards uh, to see when this valve is fully closed. So I've got a hundred, a hundred, and thirty, about a hundred and thirty five. Uh, I think we can see that. So that means we should do need to adjust the exhaust as well. Again, by the time we adjust it, then it should be uh, it should be just about dead on one fifty. Okay, so I've uh, uh, we've established that we need to adjust the exhaust uh, camshaft in as well. So I've marked it where it is now. Then I've counted 17 teeth round clockwise. And that will be the, that's the 17th tooth. Then I'm going to take the exhaust pinion off and move it anti-clockwise till it like that, that newly marked tooth here lines up with our mark on the intermediate pinion. And this is where I've been getting mixed up because of course, on the on the so on the inlet pinion you <clears throat> mark uh, uh, let me <laughs> better get this right and I yeah you you count seventeen teeth round anti clockwise but then move and that means that you then uh, if you're counting around that way you then take the pinion off and move it clockwise on the exhaust pinion you count the teeth round clockwise seventeen take the pinion off and then move it anti-clockwise. So like you count one way and move it the other, which is why I've been, I've been thinking, I'm sure it's anti-clockwise. Yeah, you count anti-clockwise and then move that clockwise. You count that clockwise and then move it anti-clockwise. So I'm now going to take the exhaust uh, pinion off, exhaust camshaft pinion, and hopefully it will go on a lot better than the inlet pinion. I damn hope it does. And then hopefully we'll be on near 150 on, on both, which would be fantastic. But I'll take this one off. I'll count around 17 and put it back on. And hopefully Dan will, will go back on. Okay, I've got the extractor tool on ready to remove the exhaust pinion. I just wanted to sort of remind people that there is this uh, little spacer thing that comes with the puller that goes in to the uh, fits in the exhaust camshaft because of course uh, there's a hole there for the like advanced retard or the electronic ignition in the end of the exhaust camshaft and if you don't use this spacer then when you screw the main bolt in to uh, pull the pinion off then the bolt is going to damage the uh, camshaft so that's what that little space is for well you know there you go that Pinion came off. I turned it round. I just nudged the crankshaft round a bit to realign things, and the pinion just slotted straight on. No fuss. Took it off. Turned it round. Back on. Don't put it straight. You know, like that one. I just couldn't get it on, and the key kept slipping out. This one straight on. So I've tightened up the um, the nut just loosely because that draws the camshaft into the right position you need to do that every time and now we're going to recheck on the dial and hopefully we're at 150 or thereabouts so we'll see we'll see how we've done okay i'm just double checking so what are we on zero just about yeah 50 100 110 120 130 140 Ooh, wow oh just bang on 150 so there we go crikey fabulous unbelievable but there we go both valves are now opening at 150 thou wow so we've got maximum power on both so that's great Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to tighten up, uh, put these uh, camshaft pinion nuts on and, and uh, do not have to talk and lock them so that I don't forget to do that. 
<clears throat> so what I've got here is I've got an old uh, crankshaft pinion and I can use that to lock the uh, engine between the uh, by by locking between the pinions 75 foot pounds on the dear old uh, torque wrench and a nice liberal amount of uh, Loctite and then put these on of course remembering that they're left hand thread and then do them up loosely if I've got this on the right way round might have to yes I do no, it's all right, because you can reverse the torque wrench. Obviously, this is for left-hand thread. There we go. And the uh, pinion's now locked in nicely. So that's locking the engine. I could lock the engine maybe on the crankshaft with an adjustable spanner on that side, but obviously it's better to do it over like this with that pinion. But there we go. But it does mean you need a spare pinion. There you go, that's locked in, 75 foot pounds. And then we'll do the same with the exhaust there. Pinion. Lock tight. Left hand thread. Uh, tighten it up by hand and get the torque wrench on it and there we go 75 which using that pinion to lock the uh to lock the gears, it's so, it's so much easier because there's no uh, movement at all. You know, there's no bounce as you sometimes get if you lock things, and you know. But that's uh, that's just great. Yeah. Okay. Just checking we're all clean in there. And so that's the pinions put on. I'll probably I'll, I'll just get rid of this pinion in a minute. I'll just have to loosen the crankshaft with that uh, adjustable spanner to get that pinion out. Uh, and I'll just leave the timing case for now, but I just wanted to put those pinions on so I didn't forget that I needed tightening up. 